Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this evening. Tonight we're going to open the Vera Ratcheting Stubby that has been so hard to get a hold of from KC Tool and go ahead and see what this is like. We got this in in our unboxing we did for Christmas time. It came in a big box of stuff. We didn't really have time to give it a good going over. So I wanted to do that today and see what you guys think. We've got some other stubbies I brought in also so we can see how it kind of compares to those. And we'll be doing another stubby video coming up soon covering a comparison of all the stubbies that I use and what I like about different ones and what I dislike. So this little stubby here is a seven piece set. Uh, this is the American version or standard Imperial, whatever you want to call it. They do have one that has, you know, the more posi drive bits and all that also. Comes in a really nice little setup right there. So you can see that. They've got it all open and everything in here kind of a little different. And for those of you that do like them, there's a little Vera Tool Rebel sticker, sticker in here. That's the gray scale, black and gray. Some people really get into those, I know. But this stubby, I had seen on some other channels, and there's a couple of things about it that are a little different. Um, starting with these bits, they're, they're actually loose. You hear that? That's not the ratcheting mechanism, that's the bits. If you can almost see them right there, how they'll fall back into place. They, they're they loosely held, so that's just different. But pop these out, and when you go to pop your first one out, you'll notice the other kind of unique thing about this. This magazine actually tilts in the back of this driver. So whether that's good or not, you know, I mean, time will tell, but I've never seen one that did that. So I guess it makes it easier to get to them. You can kick it back like that and grab the one you want out. They do hold in there very well for the loose shaking sound that I was showing you a second ago. I mean, they're, they're gripped in really well. But the way they are, when you go to pull them out and putting them back in especially, that tilt over is really handy because they don't want to... If, you, if this makes sense to you, they don't want to just go back in. You, you, If this was straight up, this would be a little more annoying to do. So you can actually tilt this over with their design and get it done. So I went ahead and pulled this out. We've got a Phillips number two, and they're labeled nicely with their color bands right there all the way around. So you can really see what bit you're going for. The Phillips are labeled with the red band. You have number one, number two. Then you have your Torx 15, 20, 25. And then you have the 0.8 flathead, and that's the only flathead you have. So one, two, three, six bits. That's why it's a seven piece set. You got the screwdriver and six bits. So that will close right into the back there, and it snaps in. So that, I mean, that's, it's there. But you get that sound of those bits in there, which if you carry this in your pocket or something, that might be a little annoying. But nice magnet on this. Feels, feels really strong. Yeah, not bad at all. Same drive system here as the longer ratchet. So you've got, oh, we'll grab one here in a second and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so here is the longer, this is the 825 uh, slash 1RA uh, ratchet. So this is just the longer version, the full size with the pop-up deal that we talk about a lot a lot of videos, one of my favorite drivers, has the exact same transmission on it. The left, the right, and the center locked position. It has a center locked position. And there is, you know, just a little bit of play in that. And so center lock on this, also a little play in this one too. But it's just the way these are from Vera. This is a good feeling transmission on that, and you can kind of tell on mine it's a little louder, I, I think, because this one's been worked pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, nice new one here. Really, really nice and short. Uh, we need to go ahead and get kind of some overall lengths here on that. We're at three and... Wow. Three and three-eighths? Three and a quarter? It's just a little over three and a quarter there. So, 
if you want to kind of get an idea of what you're looking at, it's just a little over three and a quarter overall length on that driver right there, if you're able to see that. And that is including a bit. Now, obviously, if you take a bit out, you can be a lot shorter, but I guess you could get a hold of a quarter inch drive screw with this, but it, it may not be what you'd want to do is you're going to really have that transmission right down on whatever you're turning, but that'll get you down to two and five eighths looks like to me two and five eighths or so fully closed so nice little driver really really short has a nice little fit in the hand now if you've used the little vera bit holder stubbies here this is considerably fatter than that that's the one i've had for a long time this is the 811 slash one model and same bits obviously it's just a little quarter inch drive with a magnet but that is what they look like kind of together there. No bit magazine on this, so that's why this one's fatter. I, I don't know. This has been a really nice little size. This is, this is really fat. If you have to get in somewhere and maybe turn it like that, it feels like it would work pretty well. But I've used it a little bit now on the, you know, but not much. This one here I've had for quite a while and I've used it a lot, so... We'll have to give this one a little run and see how we like it, but kind of a unique driver. Haven't been able to get a hold of one till now. It's been it's been what's held up my order from KC forever. So we finally have it here. That's pretty solid to pop open there too. Tilt that over and put our bit back in. Pop that back down. I don't know about the tilty thing. That's really, really stiff, which I guess is good. It... I've gotten really used to my PB Swiss tools lately, so my PB Swiss ones, you can see there's one of their little stubbies. These just pull up like that, and they lock when they're up, and they they have a little carousel. So quite a bit, I don't know, smoother action to the PB Swiss, but not bad. Really good little stubby to have a whole bunch of bits in that little bitty deal. So, not too bad of a little setup, really. But, if you guys are looking for a good stubby, we're going to do a video, compare all of these, let y'all know which one is my absolute favorite. But there are several that may work better in some cases than others. So that video will be coming out before too long. I'm going to go ahead and make it here shortly, once I've run this just a little bit, and we'll see what we think. See you guys next week.